try doing this activity, which I am distributing. So the first thing first is you should know what instruction you should be using. And we know that if we need to multiply, we can simply use shift left logical instruction. So the instruction should be S L L I. And we need to save it in S1. And then the source register is S0. And what should be the value, which immediate value that we should be using? is 2. Because we have to multiply it by 4. And you can easily verify by assuming the value of S0. Let's say it is, it is 1. OK? So when you multiply a number, 1 by 4, it will make the value 4, right? And which should be this. So we have actually shifted this value twice. So that is why we are using 2 here. So if you have to multiply a value by 2, you have to shift it once. If you have to multiply it by a value 4, you have to shift twice. OK? If you have to multiply by 8, you have to shift thrice, OK? Which is 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2 here, 2 to the power 3. So this 3, 2, 1 is specify how many num number of times you need to shift, OK? So here, again, S0 equals Let's say the easiest thing is to assume the value 1. And when you have to multiply this value by 128, then how many number of times you need to shift? 1. This is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So we need to shift how many number of times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. So we can simply write SLLI. S1, S0, and 7. OK, yeah. Sorry? Why the first shift twice, 2? The first one? Are you talking about this one? So why is it not 3, you say? Because the original question was, we have to multiply a value by 4. So we assume that assume that S0 is what? The value of S0 is 1. So if you have a value 1, and if you multiply a value by 4, if you multiply this value by 4, what will it become? 4, right? So how do you write 4? This is the value 4, isn't it? How many times this original value is shifted? two times. That is why we have written 2 here. You can check with another value. Instead of choosing 1, let's take a value 2. So assume that S0 value is 2. Originally, it is 2. So when, mul when we multiply value 2 by 4, it will make 8. So this value should be this. Again, it is shifted twice. OK? So we have talked about the first one and the second one. What about the third one? How do we solve this? We can split the multiplicand, or sorry, multiplier, which is 9 here, into a power of 2. So we can write 9 equals 2 to the power 3, which is 8, plus 2 to the power 0, which is 1. OK? And then we can write instructions S L L I S1, let's say S0, or maybe we can use our temporary variable here. Let's say T0. And what's that? 3. Another instruction S L L I, let's say T1, S0. And what is this? 2 0 means 1. OK? And the third one is, what do we need to do? Is to add these values together. We can add S1, sorry, T0, and T1. OK? Again, if you assume a value as 0, let's say we assume as 0 is again 0, 0, 0, 0, 
0.0001, which is the very easiest way uh, of multiplying. When we multiply this value by 9, it will make the, the final output would be 9, right? The final thing would be 9. So we, what we are doing is we are first shifting this value by 3. When we shift this value by 3, it will make this value, right? Okay? And then what we are doing next is we are shifting, sorry, 2 to the power 0. So it is 0, so it has to be 0, which means we are not actually shifting. Okay? Either we execute this instruction or we simply obsolete this and execute this one instruction. So this one and this one has to be executed. Okay? So if you execute this instruction, it means you are not shifting anything. The value will remain same. And then finally, what you're doing is you're adding the original value, which will make the results 9 in S1. OK? Yep. You're saying you get rid of the second one entirely, but? Why? Because this, we split 9 into 8 plus 1. Oh, sorry. Yes. T1 never gets declared, so we can simply write as 0. Okay? Okay? Yep? If we wanted to, though, we could keep the second line. We can keep the second line, but it does not make sense. It's just a wastage of, like, um, processor cycle. So it's this, if you shift it 0 times, it means the value remains same. Okay? Similarly, 7. You can split 7 into 4 plus 2 plus 1, or you can split it into 8 minus 1. Okay? So in both cases, um, the result would be same. I'm not proceeding ahead with this discussion because it, it will be exactly the same. Okay? Any questions? Yeah. Sub, sub yes, exactly. If you are following this way, then it, you will be ended up using sub instruction sub with what yeah okay yep could you do it without two points <coughs> and variables could you do it with just like s1 and s0 with the third one or the second one uh, sorry the fourth one we can do this as long as we are not updating the value of s0 we can do this so we can actually, so let's try doing this one, S-L-L-I. So we have S1, S0. So we are shifting the value of S0 three times. So it will make, according to this um, assumption, it will make the value 8, right? So S1 now contains 8. Now what we are doing is add S1, S1, the current value, and S0, which is 1, okay? then we completely omit the temporary variables.